Hey guys, so I am back in my office. I'm back at work. Winter break is over. It's time to get back to business. But today I wanted to talk about something that's been everywhere, stimulus checks. Have you got your stimulus check? I have heard that question every day, multiple times a day since last week. So today I wanted to talk about stimulus checks and the disability community and some things that you should be aware of if you're an advocate for this community or if you are someone with a disability. But before I get started, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. So earlier this week, I actually was reading a very interesting article um, and the article was written by someone who has a disability and she was talking about the need for stimulus checks for the disability community and why individuals with disabilities actually need more money because there are a lot of different factors that COVID has really, really taken a big hit on when it comes to our disability community. And I'm actually going to post the link to the article um, in the description box below. So make sure that you check it out. It's a really, really good read. But that got me to thinking about what are some things that we should be talking about in regards to stimulus checks and, and the disability community? So the first thing is that anyone who has SSI or SSDI, are you receiving a stimulus check? Yes, you are. So that's important to know. If you qualify for the stimulus check um, back in, I think it was March or April of 2020, then you're most likely going to qualify now. Now, some other qualifications are that you can't be a dependent and that you need to make under $75,000. And if you're a couple, I believe it's $150,000. You need to make under that. Um, the higher the or the more that you make, the lower amount of a stimulus check that you will get. Of course, everybody knows by now that we're getting $600.00. The $2,000 for right now, it's a no, unfortunately, but we don't know what may happen in the future. But right now, it ain't happening. So in order to receive your stimulus check, there's nothing for you to do besides fall into one of the qualifications that I mentioned earlier. And then you just need to check your account. So if you typically get your SSI or your SSDI via e-deposit through your bank account, then that's how you're going to get your stimulus check. If you get a paper check, then that's how you're going to get your stimulus. So however you typically receive your funds, as far as SSI or SSDI, that's how you're going to get your check. So I wanted to talk about another point that really applies to some individuals within the, within the disability community, not all, but payees. So some individuals who may be receiving SSI or SSDI, their check may typically go to a payee or is not coming directly to them. It may go to your caregiver, it may go to your independent living home, but you can still ask questions about that money. It's no, it's, there's nothing wrong with you wanting to know what's owed to you. So I would recommend that you approach the situation. Of course, you wanna be respectful at all times, no matter what you're asking or who you're talking to. But I would say something like, I heard that we're supposed to be getting a stimulus check. Will I be receiving mine? If so, when, how much, will it be the full 600? Or some, will some have to cover my living situation? Or will I be able to get all of it? So I would definitely recommend that if you do have a payee, that you ask them about it because everybody knows about the stimulus checks and you don't wanna be left out. And you wanna know what's going on. So knowing what's going on in our country, being aware of what's going on around you, that's really an independent living skill because when you're not aware of what's going on, sometimes you don't have a say so or you can't make an informed decision. So if you are a person with a disability, never let anybody tell you, oh, you don't need to know about that. That doesn't concern you. Yes, it does. It all concerns you, especially when there's money involved. You definitely don't wanna miss out on that. So don't feel bad. Don't feel like you can't ask questions. You don't know until you ask, and no question is a silly question except the one that you don't ask, so be aware. Now, this is something that typically happens around the time when stimulus monies are coming out or tax money scams. They are everywhere. 
please make sure that you are aware of scams. If it sounds too good to be true, it is too good to be true. For example, if someone were to present you with an opportunity for you to give them your stimulus check, give them, let's say, $600 so that you can make $1,200. That sounds kind of crazy, right? So if it sounds crazy, it is. So make sure that you're not falling into any traps where somebody's trying to lure you in by the potential of, of making more money. It ain't gonna happen. So please make sure that you are staying alert and aware. If somebody's asking you for your check or you know they're really asking you a lot of questions about how much money did you get, you want to make sure that you don't engage in conversation with them. If they're presenting you with all of these opportunities for you to make more money or for you to buy this really cool gadget, don't pay it any mind. They just want your check. Whatever they're saying is not true. So make sure that you don't fall into that trap. And sometimes scammers are getting more and more savvier. So if it sounds like something that may be true, you wanna go to someone that you trust, maybe a counselor, maybe a teacher, maybe a mentor, maybe it's someone in your church, someone who is wise and who you know for a fact makes very good decisions. Make sure that you present that opportunity to them and get their opinion on it before you just give your stimulus money away. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. Please drop down in the comments and let me know if there's any other questions that you may have regarding stimulus checks, especially if you're an advocate for the disability community or if you are someone with a disability. Maybe there's something that I didn't touch on that you'd like to know more about. I'd love to do the research and try to help you out as best as I can. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I've noticed that I've gotten several new subscribers. So thank you very, very much for your support. Uh, my email is in the description box below. If there are any adult daily living skills that you want to see or any educational topics that you want to hear about, be sure to send me an email and I'll be sure to make a video. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.